Hey, mathematicians, Mrs. Wingers here. Um, we're here for lesson five of our fractions on a number line uh, unit. But today we're actually going to move away from fractions on a number line for just one day. I want us to um, do a little bit of review about fractions uh, uh, seen as area models. OK, so modeling fractions in a different way. Um, so we're going to do a quick review. Then we're going to talk about how area models can be equal to each other, even if they don't look exactly the same. Then we're going to do a little bit of practice, and then you will do your exit ticket on your own. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up reviewing area models. OK, here we go. So we're going to start with um, some fraction puzzle things. All right, so here we're going to start easy. Tell me, what is the fractional name of this shape? One half, right? There's one part shaded. Uh, which gives us our numerator, and then the denominator is two because there's two equal pieces. All right, let's give this one a try. Hmm. Well, this is one fifth. One part is shaded, and there are five equal pieces. One part shaded, and one, two, three, four, five pieces total. One fifth. Oh. <laughs> this one, let's take a look. How many parts are shaded? How many parts are there total? Two fourths. I knew you could do this. All right, let's take a look. They're getting more challenging. Look at how many parts are shaded and how many total parts are there. Four parts are shaded and there's five total, so four fifths. I know you're keeping up with me, aren't you? Okay, go ahead and tell me what this is. Give you a second to count it up. Five tenths, that's exactly correct. There's five pieces that are shaded, one, two, three, four, five, and there's 10 pieces total. And this is gonna be our last one. What's the fraction? One twelfth, that's right. One part is shaded and there are 12 total parts. Now, I want to review terms for just a second. We'll use this fraction here, one twelfth. Just to review that this top number is called the numerator. That's the number of pieces. Remember our root num or nom means number. Okay, so the numerator is the top. That's our number of piece, the number um, that we're, is shaded in. And then the bottom, of course, is the denominator. Remember, there's our uh, Root, nom, that means number, and D is a prefix that means down, like decrease, right? It means down, to go down. So denominator is the down number. The number on the bottom, which also means the total number of pieces that our whole is split into. Okay, now that we have kind of um, reviewed the concept of fractions, how we get our numerator and denominator, we can start thinking about how fractions can actually be equal, even if they aren't the same shape. Crazy, right? So let's start building up this concept. Um, here we have four different models, right? Four different shapes. But as we can see, each part of the, um, these shapes are the same size all the way across, right? So let's look at each shape and label what fraction of the figure is shaded. Very similar to what we were just doing. Let's take a look at how many parts are shaded, which gives us our numerator. Here we see three parts are shaded and there are one, two, three, four, five parts total. Wow, let's take a look at the next one. One, two, three parts are shaded. There are one, two, three, four, five parts total. <laughs> Here we see two parts are shaded. And there are one, two, three, four, five parts total. And here we see one, two, three parts shaded and five parts total. Okay, now. Even though these shapes look different, they're laid out in different ways, the sizes of each part are equal, 
okay? We can see that this one part here is equal to this one part here, and they are all, they all have the same denominator. They're all split into five equal parts. So now we need to circle the fractions that are equal. And now, because we know all the pieces are equal sizes, we can say three-fifths, three-fifths, and three-fifths are equal, right? There's a, a special word for this. It's called equivalent. When fractions are equal, we call them equivalent fractions. The base there being equal and the suffix being equivalent. Maybe there's like a double suffix on that. Equivalent. So um, three-fifths, 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 these are all equal fractions. They're all equivalent fractions. Now, let's take a look at the second part. And this is very similar to what you're going to be doing on your exit ticket. It says, label the shaded fraction and draw two representations of the same fractional amount. Okay, here, we need to be kind of precise on this. Let's first label this fr shaded fraction. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 total parts. That gives me my denominator. And one, two, three, four, five parts shaded. Kind of different than the way I was doing it up here, but that's okay. Whichever way you find your fraction, if you count the denominator first, the number of parts, or if you find the shaded parts, the numerator first, either way, it's okay. So now my job is to draw two different representations of this same fractional amount. So I need to make 5 elevenths, but I can't just make some random 5 elevenths. My 11 pieces need to be the same size as these 11 pieces. Otherwise, it's not equal. So let's see, I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, maybe I'll like make it just a little bit, kind of tricky, I'm trying to make it as equal as possible um, or as similar as possible to these sizes. I'm doing an okay job. Okay, so there's, eight, nine, 10, and I'll put one more here for my 11th. Okay, and then I need to shade in five, so I can just shade in this whole side. Now I've made a representation. It's a different shape, but it's still equal because I've tried my best to make these, each part the same exact size um, as our original. And then I need to make two representations, right? So let me think here. Maybe I will um, do eight. So I'll do eight, nine, 10, 11. I'll add my last three on this side. Mm, it's not going to be perfect, everyone, right? But that's okay. We just have to try our best to try and make it um, equal. So I need to color in five pieces, shade in five pieces for my numerator. I'm gonna do this fun design. Okay, so now I have three representations. Here's the first one and the two representations I made that also show 511s trying to replicate the size and shape of um, each part of the original. Okay, now this is very similar to the work you're gonna do on your exit ticket. You have um, the same label, these fractional shapes, and then circle the ones that are equal, right? So counting up the parts that are shaded and the parts total. And then on the back, you will do the same thing that I just did, which is label this one shaded fraction and draw two different representations of the same fractional amount. Okay, have so much fun. Good luck, and I'll see you soon.